So one of the common questions we get asked all the time is how do we price a property or what's my property worth? Now, it's not as simple as just getting in a few agents and finding out who gives you the most optimistic price. That can be the most expensive thing that you ever do. So, but how do you find out or how do you prove to yourself that the price of your property is the right price should you decide to release it after you've been on the market? So the most important thing I think to consider is just putting a price on there based on what maybe other sales have occurred or things like that may be quite a dangerous approach. And I think just picking a price that you want can also be as dangerous. So how do we go about that? How do we fix that? Well, one of the sim simple ways to do it is let the property breathe and position it as I do on the market without a price to start with. Now that's gonna come up obviously in some searches for buyers and we're gonna to get to conduct a survey on the property. By doing that, we're gonna find out the total consensus from all buyers as to what their opinion of value is. Now this is a much better start. That way people who are not biased about the price are still seeing the property. In fact, I like to say the property itself is doing the heavy lifting, which means people are noticing the photos, choosing the location, and deciding based on that information and maybe a call to the agent, which is also a good start, that they should see and inspect the property. From there, they start to formulate what they think that price is worth. And then as they learn more about the property during the campaign, which is another good reason to give it a little bit of time on the market, as in a few weeks, this then comes to that point where we start to learn where the collective top end of your price is. If you're then gonna go price that property with a guide, that can be more accurate, the buyers will appreciate it, and you probably haven't thrown away your best buyer by starting in the wrong place. After all, if you think about it, if you put a price on a property, all buyers are just gonna offer below that. If you price it too low, you're gonna keep them anchored down at a level that they probably won't come too much above, if at all. And if you price it too high, you're gonna lose their attention. So pricing your property is critical. It's not just down to what you want for it. It's about working out what the market's prepared to pay and then how much someone will love it who will overpay from there. So they're really some of the key points. If you'd like to know more, please click on the link below and we'll have a chat to you about that.